everybody, it's Rob here back from Intrigue for day 15 of 100 Tips in 100 Days. Uh, all about putting teeth into our purpose at Intrigue, which is empowering leaders to strengthen the communities. So uh, hopefully you can take a nugget away from uh, each of these videos and you know improve your business, maybe grow a little bit faster, become a better leader, have more impact, whatever that might be. That's the spirit of this whole thing. Uh, essentially, it's over a decade of scar tissue and, and experiences. We're just gonna give it away and hopefully you can do something uh, with it uh, better than we have in the past. And this one's uh, coming from a question from Trisha Kopek. Thanks, Trisha, for the, for the question around how do you create bite-sized chunks for like large projects? And uh, I think there's actually, a, it's, a, it's a really cool question for a lot of reasons, uh, but I wanna just break this down quick for you. So um, at Intrigue, we use uh, a combination of EOS, Entrepreneur Operating System, uh, with Gina Wickman, Scaling Up, Vern Harnish, and the four disciplines of execution, or 4DX from Covey. So um, one, one of the pieces with it is you know, goals from going from, you know, X to Y by when it's 40 X, uh, EOS has rocks, um, scaling up has priorities. The idea is in a, you know, a quarterly kind of rhythm, you know, what big things are you trying to accomplish? Um, and then how can you break that down into bite size, say weekly chunks so that you can see if you're on track. So when we first started doing these big goals or big rocks, you know, everything would be like on track until the last two weeks of the quarter. And then we'd be like, oh my goodness, we've got to scramble this project way bigger than I thought. You know, I'm not quite done. It would leak into the next quarter. And it, so it wasn't very productive. And so it, within EOS, there's this thing called milestones. And milestones kind of create a cadence of seeing whether or not you're on track with hitting your quarterly priorities, your quarterly rocks. And so I, I kind of equate this back to this idea of, you know, the to-do list. And so if you put on your to-do list, build a shed it's like okay that's a, that's a pretty big thing to go do if you want to do it in like say your backyard and like what's the first thing that needs to happen in order for you to build a shed you know it's it's arguable but i would say that you probably need to pick a spot you need to figure out how big it's going to be what kind of materials can be made out of um and 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 then where are you going to source the material and you got to purchase the material and so that build a shed can be broken down into bite-sized chunks one of my rocks right now is to build uh, an email list for certain industry types of 5,000 or 10,000 this quarter. And so by October 30th, I want to see it at 1,000. By, you know, November 15th, I want to see it at 2,500. You know, and then and then there's things I got to go do to build that list. And, you know, that's a bit of a secret sauce. I'm not going to, like, share how we build lists. Castle compliant lists. Uh, but if you want to know, you can ask, uh, and I'll DM you. Maybe we can talk about it. But that is not the point of the video. The video is around taking big projects, breaking them down into weekly or bi-weekly or even monthly milestones to see whether or not you're on track and really trying to take it into bite-sized chunks. So I hope this helps. It's all about taking big projects into bite-sized chunks and then making sure you're on track throughout the entire quarter or entire duration of whatever it is your timeline is as opposed to doing it all at the end. Um, and it's been extremely impactful for myself personally at Intrigue and for all of our team members that are working on their rocks on a regular basis. So break down the big projects into tiny little bite-sized chunks. You know, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. I don't know if you've ever eaten an elephant before. It's kind of weird, but that's cool. Uh, anyway, if you have any questions, comments, please bring them. This is day 15 of, fifth of 100 tips in 100 days. I need questions, comments, so that I can post more videos. I got 65 lined up. I need 35 more, so any questions are welcome. Thanks so much for watching. I hope it helps. Okay, bye.